Hello there and welcome back to the channel where today, well, today we are here with the top 10 games that you can play during quarantine or isolation, whatever you want to say, uh, lockdown, it depends what it's called in your respective area. There are many simulation games around, but I've collated the top 10 in my opinion that will definitely waste some of your time during lockdown. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Automation Empire is a simulation management game with a dedicated focus on building a massive automated industrial production network. Uh, think Factory or maybe, maybe even Satisfactory. Uh, as you build out your production and transportation facilities, you'll need to continually look for efficiencies to lower costs and increase output. Uh, this can be done through the design of a more complex system or through the research of new technologies, giving you access to further advanced machinery and tools. Uh, the game gives you a series of objects and tools such as minecarts, drones, trucks, trains, heck, even cargo rockets are a feature in the game. Uh, all in all, Automation Empire is the perfect top-down 3D production management game to while away hundreds of enjoyable hours in. And when I was reading the reviews of the game, many people have spent over 300 hours in the game, so it must be a very good game to while away your time indeed. Ostrev is another city building game, uh, placing you as the governor of an 18th century Ukrainian town. Uh, Ostrev includes all the basic city building setup with an 18th century spin on it all. Uh, think Vanish, maybe if you need some help on the imagination side. Uh, you will need to build up supply chains for basic necessities such as food, clothes, building materials and even water. Uh, ensuring that these items are distributed throughout the population is of the utmost importance. Uh, from here, you can build up your operations and start to make money with trading of items. Uh, allowing you to acquire bigger and better items to further build out your village infrastructure. Uh, having recently released on Steam and still getting regular updates, Ostrov is an excellent game to buy if you're looking for a deviation from the classic city building style. Uh, I mean, if you're playing City Skylines and you want to go back in time, Ostrov's gonna be a very, very good option for you. Uh, I guess, I don't know, I, I haven't played City Skylines in many years, but I assume it would be. Sim Airport is, as it says in the name, an airport simulation game at heart, allowing you to build, manage, and optimize an ever-expanding airport with the click of a mouse. Uh, Sim Airport integrates extensive building tools with a vast selection of objects and items for you to make use of to build out your ever-expanding airport. Uh, systems such as baggage control, fuel supply, security, and a series of other technological systems are available for you to build. Uh, these building tools come alongside extensive management controls which can be used to manage flight times, fuel systems, and baggage systems, and much, much more. Having recently released out and have an extensive early access period to Sim Airport, most, mostly positive ratings on Steam, and is definitely a good game to play if you're not able to uh, travel to the airport like half of the world is at this point in time. Plutocracy is a strategy simulation game with a deep focus on business, the economy, and its interaction with the political system in the 1870s. Uh, as you build out your empire, you'll be able to influence the economic footprint of the companies around you and have effects on prices, GDP, unemployment, and much, much more. Uh, you can choose to build up your company as a reputable, clean company with good working conditions, good pay, and a high quality selection of products, or you can try and save money by paying your workers less, giving them bad conditions, and refusing their demands. This could lead to riots and strikes. You can either fold to their demands or force them back to work. That is an example of many of the extensive features available uh, to you to, to build up your company and customize how your cus your company runs in Plutocracy. Uh, Plutocracy hosts a wave of the gameplay mechanics which are all simulated, such as financial markets, detailed industrial competition, regional and federal politics and the politicians within them, corruption, lobbying, and much, much more, uh, with a game including over 15,000 characters, such as shareholders, officials, politicians, and more. This is a game with near infinite possibility uh, for anyone interest in business simulation and business strategy games indeed. Um, 
it's it's not a game that I have personally played, but many people have told me it's a very interesting game and they want me to play it. I, I wouldn't play it because I'm very bad at strategy games and I wouldn't want to embarrass myself. But uh, for those of you in strategy, I think it's a great choice for you to go and pick this up while you can. Rescue HQ Tycoon is a recently released emergency services management game. Uh, a Rescue HQ places you, as the owner, finally enough, of a multi-emergency services headquarters. Uh, starting firstly with a fire before fire department, sorry, before expanding into a police department and then a medical care department. Even Coast Guard is a possible way of uh, playing the game with a recent DLC pack if you were to purchase that. Uh, the game will send you a hit your HQ missions which require completion within short time constraints in order to make money and level up your HQ. Uh, with the money you receive from these missions, you will be able to expand the services offered by your multi-service HQ, with a multitude of equipment available to be unlocked and purchased through the game's systems. Uh, Altogether, Rescue HQ Tycoon is a very well-made uh, game filled with an incredible amount of content for you to play through, and it definitely uh, has a bit of a comedic side to it as well, with lots of characters, narration, and a good story to follow along with. So, if you find any of that interesting, I recommend you pick it up. Next up, we have Industries of Titan. Uh, for those unaware, Industries of Titan is a strategy simulation game focusing on building a sprawling industrial super hub on Titan. Uh, the, the planet Titan, it's, it's in space somewhere. I, I, I haven't looked at a planetary map in a while. Uh, and Industries of Titan, you will have to compete with corporations from around the universe for the resources within the planet Titan. Uh, to keep your territory, you will have to turn a village into a continually developing metropolis, uh, setting up factories and production lines to take your mind resources from the planet and transform them into a profitable business endeavor. Uh, as your empire grows, others will attempt to take what you've built. Uh, to prevent them from succeeding, you will have to build and design your very own battleships and city defenses to ward off those enemies. Uh, all in all, Industries of Titan with the recent new uh, gameplay looks astonishing and like it could be an amazing game. And, and it is an amazing game. I got the chance to play it uh, a couple days before it released. It's probably out by the time you see this video. But it's a bloody good game and bloody enjoyable it is. Uh, you can find it on the Epic Games Store if you want to give it a shot. Prison Architect is a common name in the simulation management game genre. Uh, being one of the biggest games in recent times and one of the early games to start this kind of revolution in these simulation management games, uh, it boasts continual very positive ratings on Steam. Uh, Prison Architect is a hugely enjoyable game and provides a feature-rich gameplay experience for you. Uh, for those unaware though, Prison Architect places you as the warden of your very own prison, uh, tasked with taking a piece of empty land and building not only a secure prison, but a profitable one as well. Uh, with a vast selection of items and options for building your prison, you can build not only a minimum security prison, but house the most dangerous criminals around with maximum security and death row inmates. Ensuring your prisons are content is an ever-evolving task, with inmate health and safety being a priority. Uh, not to mention finding ways for them to make your prison money and allow you to expand the services that you offer. Uh, with a mountain of features and incredibly easy to learn gameplay, Prison Architect can have you wasting days of isolation without even realizing. Next up, we have a smaller release with Weedcraft Inc. published by developer, uh, developer Digital. I wonder if I can say that word, uh, that 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 dangerous word, according to YouTube, on on YouTube, or maybe I'll have to bleep it out. They might take the video down. That's actually quite serious nowadays. Uh, anyway, uh, Weedcraft Inc. is a really self-explanatory title. You see, uh, you're a small-time weed dealer, growing weed out of your basement uh, while hiding from the law. As you build up your production and uh, production selection, uh, Weedcraft Inc. allows you to build your aspiring business across the country into different towns and cities across America. Uh, however. However, you will receive pushback from multiple groups and gangs and the like as you continually encroach on others' territory. Uh, there's really a lot in weedcrafting, so if you become, if you, if you want to become a drug lord from your bedroom, it is, it's, it's a dream game for you. Uh, however, uh, I would probably have to, to make YouTube happy, tell you not to take drugs uh, because that's a bad idea. Probably, I don't, I don't even know anything about drugs. Really, I don't know which one that is. 
God. I should have paid more attention when someone told me about this. I don't know if anyone even did. Looking way, way back into the very far past, we have Spore, uh, released by Maxis and EA way, way back in 2008. It really is a blast from the very far past. Uh, however, with an innovat innovative, I can't say that word, can I? Innovative uh, gameplay idea and unique character creation system, Spore is to this day still a very enjoyable game. It's probably bad I can't see innovative. Uh, if you need a refresher, Spore is a galactic god simulator. Uh, or to trim it down, uh, Spore allows you to travel along a journey, creating uh, your very own animal species. Uh, from a single cell organism to a full blown land born animal, Spore takes you on the whole wall journey and then into space as well because at this point why not uh, with each evolution of your character you gain more features more evolutions more characteristics and more powers uh, growing your new species of animal into a vast civilization spanning around the planet you inhabit uh, with near unlimited possibilities spore really really will fill your lockdown time uh, if you like creating uh, little little new species of animals, uh, or I guess you can't really call them humans. They, no one's really created a human in Spore, if I remember right. Finally, we have Planet Coaster, the roller coaster theme park a builder developed by Frontier and published by Frontier as well. Uh, Planet Coaster, as the title suggests, is focused around the development of a coaster theme park. Uh, it includes a high degree of customization and micro detail management with its building features, allowing you to customize every part of your park from the flowers to the tiny details on the wall. Uh, with workshop support and a series of DLCs, this only gets better and better. Uh, with this, you can choose to play the game from a sandbox design-focused point of view, or from a tycoon management perspective, uh, ensuring you manage your budgets and turn a profit each month in order to keep expanding your park. Uh, many seem to go with that kind of uh, sandbox design-focused uh, method where you can just, um, you have unlimited funds and you can really add a lot of detail. That seems to be the way a lot of people enjoy playing Planet Coaster. Uh, with the incredibly detailed construction and landscaping gameplay to the park management and AI simulation, uh, Planet Coaster is the best theme park simulation game out there. And that is it. That is the top 10, in my opinion, best games for you to play during lockdown. So, I'll thank you very much for watching and I'll see you when I see you. But until then, cheerio.